All right, last topic of the day. How about this Colorado Tech team? I mean, first year in Division One, they come in and play a Utah team who's actually really, really good, and they beat them. They absolutely beat them by three points, and I cannot believe it. Like, we have Colorado here with CU. We have CSU. But how about is Colorado Tech the new favorite, the fan favorite here in Colorado? I don't know. Maybe it's too early to tell. Maybe it was just one lucky win. Who knows? But I think this team has a lot of potential, especially with new first-year head coach Mohamed Willingham. I think that this team can do some damage. We'll see if they can keep it up this week, though. Iowa is very tough. They are top 25. I think their luck might run out this week, but who knows? I mean, but this is a new team to cheer for in Denver. We haven't had a lot of excitement here with our sports since Peyton Manning left, so... We'll see what happens. I'm excited to see what Denver is going to do here in this next game. I mean, this is going to be pretty fun. This is an exciting team. I think they got some good pieces. Jack Solemn had a good game last week and a new team to cheer for. I think Denver's rocking with this new Colorado Tech team. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Colorado Tech Lions franchise. We start out this season 1-0, shocking the local news station, as you can see. As one guy that was very impressive on offense was Kentrell Kraft. How about him? Now, I initially said he was a junior. He is actually a sophomore. He had him for three seasons, 93 speed. He is a good route runner. He has decent hands as well. We're going to be looking to get him the ball. He could be the focal point of this offense. Sion Okafor had an impressive debut as well, along with Alec Robinson. The two defensive tackles had an excellent opener, and I think that those two are going to need to be on their game in order for us to stay in these games, especially versus teams that can run the ball. Now, Iowa has Mark Smith at quarterback. He threw three touchdowns, but how about the smaller schools upsetting the bigger schools? They lost to Central Michigan by seven. But that does not mean we take them lightly. Let's get this game underway as Iowa does receive the opening kickoff. Here is Moore back to receive it, and he gets tackled, and he drags a defender up for an additional about five, six yards. And out comes this Iowa Hawkeyes offense. You know Iowa has a very good, potent running game always, but they've actually had decent quarterbacks who get their receivers the ball. Here's a throw to the right side. This is going to be a catch by Lance Ingram, but a tackle for loss. It's the captain, Jamarcus Lexington. Now, Lexington had a very good debut last week, and returning for his sophomore year, he's going to have to have a big year for this defense to be successful. Hand off to Bolin this time, and he will pick up about a gain of 10. It looks like Tyler Ashley was there on the stop. Brings it to a third and short. They come out here with a, kind of a shotgun formation here with a tight end lineup in front of the quarterback. Just throw out to the flat, and there is a stop, and that is Tyler Ashley again. Two straight plays for him, and it's a three and out. How about this on the road? So here is Jack Solom. His first pass is incomplete. He had a great game last week throwing for a couple of big clutch third down conversions. As here they are getting pressure inside. Second and ten. Here's a throw out to Adrian Johnson. Out of the backfield, he picks up a gain of six. So now that brings it to a third and four. Solemn throws to the right side. Incomplete, looking for Mookie Richardson. And it will be a punt. Now, I apologize for the audio in this game as we did have some issues with recording this one. Here's a throw down the left side. The issues will be fixed next episode. So during this one, you will hear a little bit of music in the background here. Second and 10, screen pass to the left side. This is gonna be Martin, who has space. It's gonna be a gain of 18. Their star receiver, Brad Martin, is gonna be a guy they're gonna be looking to get the ball quite a bit. He scored in the opener for them as a first and 10 now. Draw play to Bolin, and he picks up only a gain of two. There is Sion Okafor with another big tackle right there, bringing it to a second and eight. Here at the 38-yard line, Mark Smith, has a man deep, and it's going to be Martin for the touchdown. 36 yards. It looks like the second effort on that route gets him free. And Bernard Benjamin gets beat deep, but there was no pass rush. He just sat there all day, and Mark Smith delivers to Brad. And it's going to be a 7-0 lead here for Iowa. 
So here's the throw across the middle. That is Jack Solomon. One for four to start this game. That's incomplete. B.J. Johnson checks in at quarterback now. Here's a quick toss out to Kentrell Kraft. Now, we said we wanted to make him a focal point of the offense. Getting him the ball any way possible is going to be the key. Third and eight now. Play action fake in. The pressure comes right in. Innovated. That's going to be a sack. Steven Harmon gets there. Look at him just get, go straight to the quarterback. No time to throw that ball for Johnson. And now Iowa gets possession right back. So here we go, second and three out on defense now. Here is Iowa tossing this one out to Tlaib Hester. It's a gain of 14 yards, and it's a first down for the tight end. So now here we go, third and four, another third down. Thrown across to the middle of the field on the middle screen. It's going to be a first down. And that's another first down for Iowa as they have been moving the ball through the air quite a bit in this one. But here's a handoff this time to Bolin. He gets stopped to the backfield. Who else? Jamarcus Lexington there for his second tackle for loss. Second and long now. Here is Mark Smith. Quick throw to Lester. It's going to be a tackle by Vincent. Show cross gain of four for Lester again. Third and eight. Smith in the pocket. Throwing across the middle. Incomplete. Vincent Showcross was there in the area. It's going to be... Another punt here for Iowa. We forced two of the three drives for punts. That's pretty good. So here's B.J. Johnson throwing to the right side to start the next drive, and he's got Kentrell Kraft. It looks like he lost his footing after a good spin move. It's going to be a gain of 22. So now we are close to about the 50-yard line. Looks like we have both running backs in the backfield. This is going to be Adrian Johnson who gets the handoff. Gain of three. So now we spread him out here for a five wide set here. Third and seven. Here is BJ rolling to the right side, throwing to an open tight end. Mike Marone has it for a gain of 20. And that is going to be a great throw by BJ Johnson. It looks like he's staying on the field here. As now we start the second quarter. Here's a quarterback power up the middle. Look at him spinning forward and getting ahead for a gain of seven and another first down here for the Lions. So now we're just outside the red zone. Johnson throws, and the last possible second gets it to Kentrell Kraft. It's a gain of six. The speedy receiver, he's going to get the ball a lot. Here he is running in motion for a second and four. Here is Johnson. He throws it to him, looking for a block. He gets it from Jackson. Jackson downfield. It's a gain of 13. This is what we have to do. We have to get Kentrell Kraft the ball any way possible. You've seen these jet sweeps, these screens. It's any way possible. Running in motion as well. So now we're inside the five now. Six minutes to go in the second quarter, and that is going to be a big time stop in the backfield. Kevin Johnson just absolutely mows over our center right there, and it ends up being a field goal on that drive. So here is Bolin now. Here's a handoff, big time run, and he picks up a gain of 20 for a first down. And that is going to be... 40 yards carrying for bowling is now we get it to about five minutes to go in this first half. Mark Smith keeps it, throws a stiff arm and picks up about a gain of nine. So our defense has been holding them in check so far for the most part. Here's an option keeper. Mark Smith has a first down on this one, and that's going to be a gain of 15. And now they move the chains. They're inside a field goal range. So here we go. At about the 25, handoff. This is going to be Bolin and another first down, and that is going to be another chain mover for this Iowa team on this drive. A nice long drive here for the Hawkeyes. But here's Mark Smith. He can't get away. This is Sion Okafor again. Sion Okafor, Alex Rob, Alec Robinson, and Jamarcus Lexington are having excellent starts to this season. As that brings it to a third and 13. Quick throw, Thompson breaks a tackle, spins forward, and tackled from behind by Robinson, but it looks like a flag is going to fly in. Face mask or a horse collar on that play and a first down. We could have had the drive over right there as now Iowa gets it inside the five now. Handoff, Bowling breaks a couple of tackles. He's in for the touchdown. And that one will be a two-score game, 14-3. It could have been just 10-3 if it wasn't for that face mask. So here is Johnson. Look at the pressure off the edge right away on the next drive. He tries to get away, and he's going to lose one on that one. Justin Parks just screams in there. 
off of the edge. Third and 11 now, about two minutes to go here in the first half. Johnson in the pocket, throws, and it's caught by Jackson Jackson. He picks up a gain of 21 for the first down. And now we get it to about the 50 yard line. Fresh set of downs here. We lose five yards after a penalty. Here's Johnson, he throws. He's got the other BJ Johnson. And he picks up a gain of 11. So now we are across the 50 now. We're gonna try to hurry it up to the line a little bit. But here we go, third and inches. Johnson throws to the right side. Mike Marone, gain of six. Another dump off pass. So 45 seconds to go. Here's another third down attempt. Here is Mike Marone again. He has been reliable so far in the first couple of games here. You could just see it. He's a blanket, a security blanket for the quarterback. And now we got it inside the 15 now with about 20 seconds left. But the pressure gets in right away. This has happened three times already where a guy comes in unblocked, and this time it's Scott Luke with a hit on B.J. Johnson. And our breakdown and blocking has really hurt us so far. Third and 13, throw away to left side. Looking for Adam Roth. I think good thing that wasn't on the money. Could have been picked. We end up kicking the field goal here, settling for three, 14 to six, where it really should be 10 to six here. But hey, we go into halftime now. Down by eight as Iowa has one more chance, but we send the pressure and get after Mark Smith. The first sack of the season by Bo Rocky. And it will be a 14 to six game going into halftime. Colorado Tech has kept up with some very good teams so far. Second half action now. BJ Johnson has not relinquished this quarterback spot here in this game as he throws to the right side, and that one is almost picked off. Dominique Coleman, but B.J. Johnson, 10 of 15 to start this game. Jack Solom was one of five. He's a throw to the sideline. He's gonna have Adrian Shields for the first down on that third and 10 attempt. And we move the chains. Play action fake now. Johnson, oh, and the defender jumped up and almost had a couple hands on that pass. Second and 10, BJ throws, incomplete. Mike Marone, who's usually sure-handed, lets that one fall right through his hands. So third and 10 now, BJ Johnson in the pocket, throws across the middle, Kentrell Kraft hit hard. It's gonna be a gain of six, but his fifth catch of the game. We end up putting this one deep, but this one cannot be handled on the punt return. It is going to be a fumble and recovered by Benjamin. How about the breakdown on special teams by Iowa? And we take back over. But here is Johnson under pressure again. This pass rush has been getting to the quarterback all game long. That's Park's second sack of the evening. Third and 22, pressure's there again. We just throw this one deep, and it's gonna be knocked down Martin Gilbert, his third deflection of the game. So after that great field position, we get no points, and now we're still down by eight. Mark Smith throws to the sideline. He's got Bolin, who's got it, and more. He breaks the tackle already across the 50, a gain of 38 on just the throw to the flats. Mark Smith finds his running back and it's gonna be a first down throw. So here is Smith now throwing to the right side, incomplete. How about that? He missed a wide open guy right across the middle. So now third and four, here is Smith again, throwing to the right side, incomplete. And that one will be a great drive stopper because he missed a wide open man. And now they're gonna have to try to settle for a long field goal from 51 yards. This one is short. Mookie Richardson back to receive this one. He takes it to the left side and he will get tackled at about the 16. Maybe should have left it in the end zone. And now here we go back on offense. Here is Johnson, a dump off pass to start off the next drive. And there is Adrian Johnson who just got absolutely crushed on that one. You can just see we aren't running the ball too much because our running game has really been stopped so far. Here is Johnson taking off to the left side to gain of seven for the first down. Jack Solom still sitting on that bench. I'm surprised coach is not showing the balance here. Here's a quick throw and that is Kentrell Kraft. A gain of 21 for the first down and Kraft getting going in this game. 
And now they get it to about the 42. Here is Colorado Tech handing off to Adrian Johnson. Good block downfield by number 77. And that is going to be one of our guards and one of one of the best players on the offensive line, Tom Jones. He's actually playing center some plays as well as we hand off this time to Adam Roth. You see right there, he's got five attempts for 11 yards. It's been tough sledding running the ball. Here is Johnson now throwing off his back foot. He's going to have Kentrell Kratz for the first down. The pressure was right in there. Somehow he threw that one accurately to Kentrell Kraft. Second and 10 now as we have a fresh set of downs, but he goes down again. This is a loss of five yards. Scott Luke has a, his second sack of the game. They have multiple people with multiple sacks. Third and 15. Here's a throw across the middle. Looking for Mike Marone. It's going to be intercepted by the defense. The first turnover of the game by CTU. Lorenzo Tucker just playing center field. That was actually an easy interception. It was thrown right to him. And just a bad read that time by B.J. Johnson. Iowa starts out the next drive with a big-time run by Sean Bolin, picking up a gain of 21 and a first down. Second and one. This is going to be a keeper. Mark Smith, he picks up a first down. It looks like they might try to run some clock a little bit. They still are only up by eight points. Here is Smith now running a screen pass, a toss out to the left side, and Joseph Crawford Jr. was there to stop him, and then number 23 comes in to clean him up. How about Blake Starks on the tackle? Third and eight now, four minutes to go. Here's a quick throw to Thompson, and Thompson picks up a block. He does have the first down, gain of 12. We definitely needed that stop right there because now they are inside a field goal range. And now they run a man in motion here on a first and 10. Bowling in the backfield, he's going to get the counter play. He gets stopped behind the line, and there is a great play. How about number 90, Alec Robinson there for the stop? Second and 12, running a little bit of option. Mark Smith, he's going to keep it this time. Takes it to the right side. Vincent Showcross there for the tackle. Only a gain of three. Another big third down now, and they try to get us to jump off sides, but it's going to be a false start. So an interesting play call right there. This is at the edge of their field goal range. They missed from here earlier. Third and 14, throw into left side, but it's caught. Adam Thompson, they needed 14 yards. They got 21 on that one. What a throw by Mark Smith. So it looks like they're running clock now. Two and a half to go. Handoff, Sean Bowl into the right side. He does get stopped. Tyler Ashley on the tackle. We call our first timeout. Second and 15, Mark Smith throws to the right side, and it's another tackle by Ashley, but a personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Just wrap up. You don't have to go for the face mask, and now a fresh set of downs. It could have been third down right there. So first and goal, option keeper, Mark Smith, gets kept out of the end zone on that one. We call our second timeout. A minute 44. Second and goal, another keeper to the right side. And this time, Mark Smith keeps it. It's a touchdown and runs over a defender in the process into the end zone. And now it's a 21-6 game. We were keeping it so close for most of this game, but now Iowa may have put this out of reach. Here is B.J. Johnson on the next drive. A quarterback power. He takes to the left side. He's got a lot of space. Pushed out of bounds for a gain of 23 yards. Big time run by B.J. Johnson. As now we give it to Kentrell Kraft on the end around the jet sweep, and that one is going to be a loss of one. Thought we could utilize his speed to the outside, throwing off the defense. Second and 11, Johnson throws up field. It's going to be Mike Marone up the seam, and he gets inside the 30-yard line on the other side of the 50. Four for 73 for Marone. First and 10 now, Jackson throws the left side. Adrian Johnson on the sideline. He's got it for about a gain of 16. How about this Lions offense? Showing off on this drive a little bit. Here's a flip out to Jackson Jackson. That did not work. I thought Jackson Jackson was running a lot harder than that. He was barely even moving. Third and 15, Johnson looking. He had a man maybe in the end zone. He decides to tuck it and run it. Doesn't want to take the risk. 11 seconds left. This could be the last play of the game here. Fourth and eight. Here is Johnson throwing to the end zone. He's got Jackson Jackson who does not hold on to the football. 
When you get an opportunity like that, especially scoring a touchdown, you just cannot allow this to happen. Either way, it probably wouldn't have mattered, but that's points on the board you leave there as we lose this one by two scores. 21 to six, we stayed in this game the entire time on the road. I think we are just shocking teams so far, staying in these close games. And we moved to one and one. We almost had two straight games with upsets, to be honest with you. 20 of 35 for BJ Johnson. He had an excellent game throwing the football. He got sacked five times, our offensive line and our running back picking up blitzes are definitely going to need to improve there you can just see we tried to run the ball but it did not work i think that next game we'll try to run the ball a little more hopefully with more success kentro craft got seven for 83 today mike marone was a surprise today five for 73 he had some big time catch and runs he had two drops as well and then jackson jackson had that touchdown drop he had two on the day total and then i think our offensive line is definitely going to need to improve we're going to be looking at recruiting pretty soon, and I think that offensive line is definitely a need right now. But I want to get a good sample size of games before we look at recruits and what we need and really just figure that out first before figuring out who we really want to go hard after. And just looking at our defense, Bo Rocky gets his first career sack. Sian Okafor adds another one on the year, making it two. And then Justin Parks, Luke for them, also had two sacks. And then Mark Smith, 186, 17 or 22. He threw a touchdown. And Sean Bolin and Mark Smith both ran in for touchdowns as well. So we are one and one here in our last non conference. Our last two non conference games are versus Louisiana Tech and Auburn. Then we start conference play. So I'm thinking after game number three, we will have the recruiting special where we go over our, our recruits for the first time. But the question is do we have a quarterback? controversy here i mean bj johnson played pretty well that game i still like jack solemn so he will probably get the start but it's something to look out for maybe we rotate the opposite way maybe jack solemn is the one that comes off the bench but i definitely want to get my more accurate quarterback warmed up first so that's the reason why i start jack solemn and have bj johnson in him with certain packages and things like that but johnson actually threw the ball well so we'll see what happens next episode we are one and one facing an 0-2 Louisiana Tech team. We'll see if we can get the victory here. We do return home. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.